guys i hope you're having a wonderful day thank you for joining me tis the season to be thankful and pass around the turkey thanksgiving is a magnificent holiday and that's what i'm going to be talking about in this video so i hope you enjoy it's a time of reflection recounting all the blessings in life Cherishing moments with those that we love most. Thanksgiving is one of my all-time favorite holidays, right up there with Christmas, of course. I just really adore being with family and focusing on the countless blessings in my life. I am huge on gratitude, if you didn't already know that. They say gratitude improves the attitude, and I think that is so true. It shifts our perspective. A thankful heart is a joyful heart. Furthermore, it opens the door for an abundant life. Thanksgiving is not merely a holiday, but a way of life. Stopping in the middle of the day to give thanks enables people to slow down, to enjoy the day more. Pleasant emotions are not needed to give thanks. In fact, it is vital to give thanks during trials in this life and things that bring us down. And Voskamp, which is one of my favorite, okay, one of many of my favorite authors, <laughs> shares how Jesus did this the night that he was betrayed. In the midst of what seems like a mess, in tripping up and stumbling down of all hopes, Jesus gave thanks right before he was going to be crucified. That's pretty mind-blowing if you think about it. Life is bathed with pain. That's why it's vital to learn to give thanks in the middle of each struggle. A few seasons of intense chronic pain has personally changed my perspective in what I give thanks for. Furthermore, I know I cherish things that most young adults don't. There have been times the pain breaks the pain scale. It shoots, it stabs, deeply aches, it burns. Moving me to tears with the occasional yelp, though I hate to admit it. This type of pain is one that you just can't simply ignore. It'll just scream till you take notice of it. In the middle of the intense pain, I can barely whisper, Lord, thank you for holding me now. Thank you that you're faithful, that you're stronger than my trials. That you're with me this second just thank you for who you are doing simple things like this and other little things which i can share in the future um help me to get through intense moments of pain because sometimes there's really nothing anybody can do that helps both Anne Voskamp and Rachel Hollis practice of daily gratitude have challenged me to adopt the practice myself I attempt to write 10 things I'm thankful for each and every day, but honestly, some days I write 50 things and other days I completely miss. However, to date, I have recorded this year, which started obviously January, 3,763 things that I'm thankful for, which I think is pretty awesome because it allows me to, when I'm feeling down and really depressed, to look back through my gratitude journal and just see how blessed I really am. I'm sorry, I'm feeling out of breath from talking. <sighs> In honor of Thanksgiving, I am going to share five things that I actually thought out pretty well that I'm thankful for, and then five things randomly from my journal. So. I am thankful for those who support me, especially my family, because things have become a lot more difficult recently, and I've lost a lot of independence, so I depend on them a lot more. Uh, for me, though, with family and those who support me, this also includes friends, um, and also includes my cats, who provide me with comfort and laughter, and, of course, Abby, my service dog in training. I am thankful for access to medical treatments I need, like my medications that help me to stay alive, help me eat, reduces the damage done to my body from my illnesses, and assist me with so much more. I'm also thankful 
with all my heart for my saline, which makes it possible for me to stay upright longer, uh, allows me to walk a little bit longer when my legs cooperate, and I pass out a lot less. I've only passed out once this year, which is like a huge miracle with POTS. It is so amazing. I'm deeply thankful beyond measure for my relationship with Christ. Y'all know my faith is really important to me. It's what's gotten me through all of my health battles. For me, my faith helps me endure this life, like I said, with chronic illness. My friends and other volunteers at Proverbs 31 Ministries, I am just so deeply blessed by them. I can't even put it into words. Um, my small group is just so amazing. I really think that I have like the best 20 something ladies in my group. They're phenomenal. Our community group and community team, <laughs> again, I can't say enough awesome things about them. These people have just been so supportive, especially when I was in the hospital, which really meant the world to me because sometimes when you're chronically ill, you're like, I don't make a difference. Like, you feel like a shell of a person and you kind of sometimes honestly feel worthless. And it was really nice when I was feeling down and that it was really hard to keep fighting and I was exhausted to get those little notes of encouragement either on Facebook, in comments, messages, or the tons and tons of cards that I had gotten. It just really meant the world to me. And my Sunday school kids because I just, I love them all seriously with all my heart. I am so close to each and every one of them, um, the kids that we've had for a while. They just, they make me laugh and they make me feel normal, honestly. It's just so much fun to be with them, even though it's become very, very difficult. I am thankful for the Christmas season, for all the traditions and all the little details, as you can tell by the lights. And I'm excited for the chance to participate in Vlogmas. So I'm really excited about that. I am thankful for, lastly, tea and simple comforts that make the day a little bit easier to get through. So now I'm going to quickly read just a few random ones from my bullet journal. And this I didn't actually plan, so we will see just, hopefully it'll make sense because they're all really, really random. So for this day I had, I was wearing a heart monitor, so I wrote that I am thankful for the ability to have the heart monitor to get the data that my doctor needed, hopefully. Um, thankful for good and clean drinking water. Thankful to just be able to talk with friends. Thankful always, you know, days that I don't fall, I'm very, very thankful for that. Um, just the Lord's presence. Having lunch with my mom, uh, ladies, of course, again, in my small group, uh, outlining different videos, going food shopping, um, picture with Christmas hats on with Abby, watch some YouTube videos, spent some time with my cats, uh, my sweatshirt, um, and finished my antibiotic for my infection. So I know that was over five that I read, but I just thought it was kind of cool just to read, you know, a couple random ones because the things that I write down in my gratitude journal, they're nothing big. They're just really small, and I hope you can see that, really small, simple, everyday things. And I do repeat things sometimes because I'm truly grateful for them. So I hope y'all are gonna have a fantastic Thanksgiving. I am going to be spending the day with my family. We're going to my aunt's house and I'm super excited. They have a new member of their family with four legs. So I'm so excited to meet him. He's a puppy. So that is going to be so much fun. Please let me know in the comments what you're doing for Thanksgiving. Um, and if you don't celebrate, just let me know what you're doing on Thursday. So. Happy Thanksgiving and have a wonderful day. The next time I see you will be for Vlogmas. Bye.